Hello, welcome to AirJet Series 1. I'm here to show you a couple cool features that will help you be able to use your device here well. So you can easily use a touchpad panel on the top to either turn it on or use the different features, or you can use the remote for all the different features that are included in this package. And as you can see, it oscillates or rotates and you can turn that feature off if you want it to be focusing on one specific area, like so. Also, if you want it to be facing more towards the ground, you can tilt it down or you can tilt it up if you want it to be facing more towards the ceiling. Or if you want to be doing both the ceiling and the floor, you can just have it facing forward and it should be able to cover both areas just fine you don't have to worry about that. <clears throat> this device also is nice in that it has a bladeless feature. You can literally stick your hand in here and not have to worry about the fan blade hurting you or uh, a child getting hurt. Not as loud, very nice. Also on the back, you can access an air filter. It's a nice, easy to remove. You can clean it off very easily and put it right back on. This product has two different heat modes, both high and low, and you can adjust it with either your remote or on here with the circle with the three dots. You simply just press mode and it will change to either low where the fan is blowing very slowly so you have a nice low heat coming out and then you can switch it to high, where the air becomes much stronger. Also, a simple feature on this remote is you can easily adjust your temperature as if it's a thermostat. You can go down with the temperature so that your room is a little bit cooler, or you can go up with the temperature and make your room nice and warm. The machine will shut off once the temperature has been reached. You can adjust the fan speed to a higher one and even at its highest, it isn't that loud. Like a normal fan would be a little bit too loud for you to be able to even hear me, but this fan, even at full blast, even though it feels amazing, it isn't very loud because it has a good cooling system inside of it, makes it nice and quiet. And then you can turn it all the way down if you want to, and it's very quiet. You almost can't hear it. It's very nice. You can adjust the thermostat or temperature on the hot settings, both low and high, by pressing the arrows to the sides. So if you want the room to be hotter, you simply press to the right. If you want the room to be cooler, you simply press to the left. And then with night mode, finally, all you have to do is either press the night mode button on here and adjust what the sleep time will be. You can adjust the hours from zero to nine. If you want it to not ever fall asleep, you just have it on zero and it won't ever turn off. It will just stay constant, except for when the motor needs to cool down and that might be why you don't really feel anything coming out because the motor needs to cool down a little bit, get back to normal, and then it'll start blowing out air again. So if I were to put it at nine hours, you could turn it on nine hours as soon as you go to bed so that when you get up in the morning, it will turn right back on. And the noise, little though it may be, doesn't bother you at all. Some people are very light sleepers, I myself included. With the night mode, you can also adjust the timer on the remote itself. So it's at zero right now, and I just turn it to one hour, two hours, three hours, and so on. It's very easy to use the remote, very nice. And finally, there's the sleep mode. And then all you have to do to put it to sleep immediately is press the sleep button or the moon, and the whole system shuts off. Right. 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Airjet Series 1. <laughs>